Alright, so with the train assembled, you're ready to put it on the track, but first let's assemble the track. Uh, to do it, we're going to use the fastening train again. You should be able to take the top of one of these pegs and assign it to the inside of one of the opposite ends. Gives you a little clearance space, uh, but it shouldn't move. Do the same thing here. This surface to this end here. Again, trying to identify that center point. Now I'm going to fix uh, one of the train pieces, so I'm going to right click, click fix. Now the train itself, the train track here cannot move. Um, you recall from the previous video we fixed our train body, so if I right click on it, I can remove the fix from our train body. All right. so now our train should move but our train track does not move. To attach the train to the train track, I'm gonna use the sliding mate constraint. I'm gonna click on the back of the train and the back of this track. You'll notice what's happening, right? It's not centered. What we're gonna do where it says offset, turn that on. My train track is two inches wide, so it should be one inch offset. It's going the wrong way. So in this case, I'm gonna type in negative one. And now it's located in the center of the track. And my Y axis is gonna be 1.594. Again, going the wrong way. So let's put a negative in there. and that should move it in the center of your track. Click my check, and now my, I look at it from the back side here, you'll notice my train is directly centered over my track. 